Hi there, this is James from Burton Waters Boat Sales, just outside of Lincoln. Uh, we're just listing the Bayliner 285 uh, that we sold in June last year. The new owner is now looking to upgrade to a bigger boat. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take you around the boat. It'll give you a good idea for it. I'll show, out, I'll show you some of the key features uh, and it'll give you a good, a good feel for sort of the condition of the boat as well. The boat has been sold on brokerage uh, on behalf of the owner by us, Burton Waters. Um, as I say, we sold the boat to him not that long ago. Uh, and the Bayliner 285s do really offer a lovely layout. Um, whether you're looking to come up from something smaller or it's your first boat, they do work very well. This has got the Mercruiser 350 mag in it. Uh, so obviously it's on a petrol engine. Uh, and she's also got the benefits of having shore power connection. The, ca the, uh, shore, uh, the canopy is all in good order. Just probably do with a little bit more of a wash just to get some of the green out. It is that time of year, it's very cold and a little bit icy today as well. So, the, on the bathing platform here, you've got an antique effect on here. It just breaks up the white fiberglass. So we'll step aboard and let's have a look inside and see what she has to offer. So one of the first things you notice when you walk on the boat is it's had a very recent upgrade to the flooring. Normally these would have been carpet. This is more of a sort of a plasticky type effect, um, which means it doesn't matter if it gets wet. Very easy to keep clean as well. So in here, we've got a lovely generous sized cockpit. You've got this nice big seating area at the back here where you can have uh, the table put uh, and the backrest on the seats there slides across. Uh, that obviously gives you uh, like a U-shaped seating area. Also with the rear seat, you can fold that away. It goes flat against the transom. So quite nice if you want to do a bit of fishing as well. So it's a handy little feature to have. Also the other nice thing with that backrest moving backwards and forwards, it gives you a nice seating area up around the helm. So the uh, skipper isn't on their own. And if you're cruising, uh, a few of you can be all sat together uh, having a good chat whilst you're cruising along. So it's also got a dash cover, which I've just laid across the seat there for the moment. Onto the helm here, uh, she's got uh, temperature, you've got your speed, you've got your oil pressure, depth sounder, uh, voltage from the, the alternator, trim leg position, rev counter, and your fuel level as well. Um, you've then got your control just here for the engine, forwards, backwards, and throttle. Uh, and then you've got here it, VHF, and also a chart plotter. The boat is a nice boat, it runs very smoothly as well, uh, and it does really give you quite a lot of space on a boat of this size. This boat will sleep six people, so ideal for a family, or just ideal if you want that extra bit of space on the boat. Now, one of the nice features of this boat is it's got diesel heater that's been added to it. So it's got a separate tank for the heating system, and I'll show you the control for that in just a moment, but it's also got that outlet that just here, which comes out into the cockpit as well. So as we go down into the boat, you've got three steps down and this brings you into the saloon and galley area. It looks like the worktops had a good recent replacement uh, and it's had the nice addition of a ceramic hob top uh, instead of the standard uh, electric ring um, with, uh, 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 with methyl methylated spirit option as well. It's also got a microwave on her. Plenty of storage in the galley area here, um, really have. You've also got your fridge, which is just tucked under the seat here. And that seating area there gives you a lovely dinette area. And the nice thing, it's raised up and you've got these nice big windows that go across to both sides of the vessel. So you, can, you do get a good view out from the boat if you are inside. Now, this boat is also equipped with air conditioning. Um, I believe it works, it was work when I last tested it, but it also has the heating outlets here as well. And there you go, you've got the Espasha uh, heating system uh, just here. So even when cruising or offshore power, you'll be able to have some heat coming into the boat. One of the other benefits of the Bayliner 285s is they have this forward berth. So the be benefit of having the uh, two, three sleeping areas on the boat, the, the double berth are here. Then you've got your dinette area here which uh, drops down to make a double berth. And then if we come round, you've then got your aft cabin, which is nice. It's got a standing area as you walk into the boat. 
Uh, there's also a control panel in here as well. And then as we go down, you've then got this nice double berth that takes you under the cockpit sole floor as well. So as I said, we'll sleep six, six, we'll sleep six people. Great amount of space on the boat of this size. You've also got your toilet with holding tank. Uh, and this also doubles up to be a wet room as well. Really nice boat, great layout, plenty of space. I believe the boat will come with the television that fits on the bracket that's here. It enables you to watch the TV from this forward berth, which has closing curtains as well, uh, as well as being able to watch it from the actual saloon as well. So let me just take you back up into the cockpit. Uh, I hope the video gives you a good idea, a good feel for the boat and the condition. She's a 2002 build, but she is a 2003 model year. So, there we go. I hope that helps. Any question, please feel free to give us a call. Many thanks.